let's have a beautiful experience in this video we're going to talk about overthinking how to naturally raise your testosterone your human growth hormone and make your penis bigger it's a beautiful thing you gotta love it all right before we get started here please do me a huge huge favor Please ring the bell, subscribe to the channel, of course, tell some friends. Make sure you give me that Arthur Fonzarelli thumbs up like so I say hey. And of course, make sure you're ringing the bell like Rocky Balboa says. Hey, yo, I hear no bell. So make sure you ring the bell because I'm putting content out daily. And make sure you follow me on my social media. I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on my Instagram, Snapchat, I'm Young Dago. That's right. This video, we're, we're talking about overthinking because you know what we're all about here in the BCC, the Big Cat Consciousness, the Big Cat Collective. We'll help you manifest a bigger, wider, thicker, longer, stronger, and higher penis. Help you naturally raise your testosterone and your human growth hormone. I'm a spiritual guide and a mentor here to expand your mind and increase your size. So without further ado, I'm here to tell you about overthinking. And yes, you know what we're all about here. I mean, every single time I always got to preach my favorite magical phrase. And that is, if you want beauty to appear, you got to keep this clear. You got to be a clear conduit for growth. And when it comes to overthinking and your day-to-day, -day, you know, manifestation of the way that we grow, it all comes down to, you know, just going with the flow. As I always say, man, so re re realistically, all you've got to do is be committed to the choice that you make. And it could be it's something as simple in a, you know, a Mickey Mouse, <laughs> you know, Mickey Mouse situation where it's like, should I go do this first? Should I go do that first? Should I go here first? Like those type of decisions or like, you know, what you're going to train at the gym today. Or it could be, you know, of course, you know, the big decisions. But regardless, all you regardless of anything, all you got to say is, you know, all, all choices lead to my happiness and I'm always making the right decision. Decisions. So you can always you can write those down. They really can help you get through uh, you know the, the day, and just understand that everything you're doing is gonna always get you to your happiness because we're always happy anyways. Like I say, man, we're all tethered to that happiness. It always comes with us. The people that made us were happy to do it. They were excited to make you, no matter how you know. Like I said, if they're having sex to bring you into this world. That's a lot of excitement. If you're a surrogate, the paperwork. They were excited to be signing the the mom. People are excited to bring you here. Never forget that. So whenever you're, you know, when, whenever you're making a choice today, understand that you're making the right one anyways. And don't get all twisted on, no, you know, don't sweat the, the you know, the easy decisions, you know, because those are the ones that can really just, you know, put you in a spiral. Like, oh, should I do this? Should I flip a coin? And it's just like, man, you know what? Just commit to one and go. And I know it sounds easier said than done for some of us. And, you know, you might think like if I did this, then that would have happened. Or if I did, you know, the bottom line is you don't want to be thinking about your other choice while you already made this choice and that is what you got to get away from and that will definitely help you out in the future not to say that you know uh you can't learn from a certain choice that you make like you know oh maybe i should have did this and then i won't you know i wouldn't have had this type of issue but regardless man every situation there is only now so the the now that you're in like that's the one you got to go with so maybe the now uh that's coming might be able to you might have to do the one that you weren't thinking of so essentially you're always brand new anyways so forget about you know just honestly just forget about it you know it's going to really help you out with the flow of the day you know me i always practice the wu-wei flow anyways that tau practice path of least resistance not doing things in a particular order just doing things as they come to go with the flow to really just help you enjoy your day as you go and understanding that like i said if you're making a you know a simple choice like even like something that you're eating on the menu could be a decision like oh i should have got chicken i should have got you know like you got oh yeah i should have got steak i should have got fish you gotta really listen you gotta listen to your heart man that's what it all comes down to you gotta get out of your own way and that's what's going to help you out today. And you know, like I say, every single day, this is the one that really is going to put you on. That's going to put you in your place every day before my feet hit the ground. Go ahead and take this breath with me. I got a shot today. I feel beautiful because gratitude is the attitude. Every single day, you got to be in that gratitude 
attitude, man. You got to be excited about being alive. You got a shot today. You got a breath in your lungs. You got a shot. A shot at what? A shot at life. And that's a beautiful thing that you can always flow with anyways. And understand in the choices that you're making, you're alive, you're here. Just be happy that you were able to even have a decision. That's something that there's a freedom in that, you know. So you got to be able to be like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and commit and, th and feel that this was the best choice for me to be making. And that's going to help me with my big penis manifestation. Because you know what we're all about here in the PCC. Having that huge piece of meat. Swinging at the knees. Dropping to the pecs. Making you your best. We're talking about, you know, like I said, man. You guys want any more hands-on techniques, man. Make sure you drop me a line. You can email me and I can show you the masturbation for manifestation the super the super junk and the super edging the super kegels all these techniques that have been manifested through me that are continuously ongoing because i am a conduit i am a pathway for these manifestations and i'm continuously gaining results and i'm here to help you become your best version and i'm here to tell you that there's no wrong way to do this like i say all truths are true you just got to find the ones to make you you and essentially when you know like i say man um, science, you know, I, I don't discredit science, but I don't discredit magic. And I really feel like science in a way is kind of like a permission slip for you to, you know, to do things in a certain way. And that's just, you know, like uh, more or less a collective belief, which is going to help you uh, put yourself in that zone of like, uh, you know, okay, um, with the diet that you choose, the exercises that you choose. And like, I feel like I said in you know, a couple of my videos, man, like Ralph Cipharetto, Cypher from the Matrix says, man, ignorance is bliss. Because sometimes, man, like, you know, going all scientific y with these workouts and these diets and these exercises, you're going to end up playing, <laughs> you're going to end up playing yourself sometimes. And that's just not, you know, that's not what we want to go with, man. We want to always be growing. We always want to be flowing. Got the hair flowing, skin glowing, body growing. You know what we're talking about here. We're talking about understanding that there's more than one way to do this. You got to understand that you know like the one that i always got to preach is the mind and muscle connection so i might as well just grab a quick pump out of the air and now you know me man detroit rock city one at a time long hair flowing skin glowing that's how we be growing and like i say man pearl mahansa yoga nanda the one that brought yoga to the west teaching people how to become their best with the whole nah my stay teaching people the poses and all that beautiful way of you know just understanding the balance of life and when we're talking about you know the mind being the wielder of muscle i mean that is something that you know you got to entertain and you understand that it's your mind that's creating the size and understand that at specific times there wasn't all these scientific facts about you got to eat this and eat that and lift like this and lift like that and type one type two type three muscle fibers all it has to do with is your mind into the size i mean even arnold schwarzenegger when he was lifting i'm sure there wasn't as much science around back then and regardless of whatever stimulants he was on or you know allegedly or not the bottom line is he knew how to be aroused when he worked out and he knew how to put his mind into the size he was one of the kings of visualizations and that's what we're talking about with manifestation we're talking about feeling the growth they always say the feeling is the secret never got it we're talking about law of attraction type of way but nonetheless the feel is real and whenever you're getting this big juicy pump you always know that you're growing you always know that you're flowing and you understand that there's a few beautiful things that you can be saying while you're holding planks out you can be saying some beautiful mantras to really just help you go along the, along the way the ones that i love is i am magic i am divine and the universe is on my side and another one when you're really squeezing stuff out you just say i'm so happy and grateful remember gratitude's the attitude that my huge massive muscles are growing bigger harder stronger more defined abundantly and then for the penis i'm so happy and grateful that my huge beautiful penis is growing bigger wider thicker longer stronger and harder abundantly and then don't forget whenever you gotta scream and get that last rep out you can at least just feel it in your head just feel the grow feel it explode feel every muscle expand and go ahead and say i am magic i am divine and i can increase my size oh yeah getting, getting huge 2020 let's go let's grow let's flow we're talking about being 
huge and that's a beautiful thing and for that i say salute you look at me back with my back with one of my favorites holding me in accountability and you can count on me waiting for you in the parking lot so that that's right mr larson so Oh yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Tell you man, anytime that you get done doing a quick pump like that, you can understand that the feel is real and that energy is always there for you to grab onto. And that's essentially the message that I really love to convey here and have you understand that you got a shot, that you got the ability, you got all the tools that you need in here. And when we're talking about making that beauty appear, we're talking about understanding that you got you got everything you need. You got the gods, you got Priapus, you got Hercules, you got all these beautiful, magical, you know, spirits within you and you can harness this and help it put, you know, put it into you. And when we're talking about being able to channel these, you know, entities and, you know, essentially what your mind can do with the muscle, we're talking about not overthinking it, just entertaining it, just giving yourself the permission, much like people do with science and like, yeah, I'm sorry, Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill and I, uh, like I say, man, you know, it's not all about, you know, uh, following, you know, um e equals mc square all the time because you know the the quantum world can only take you so far and you know thought uh thought patterns and feelings and all these other type of things cannot be explained and you know technically people can't even uh, uh explain gravity so when you go with that you know and like i said man we're talking about overthinking man you could get into the whole conspiracy theories and that can take you down a rabbit hole and, and keep it and can beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently and if you let it you me and nobody's gonna hit as hard as life but it's not about how hard you can hit it's about how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how what is done I had to, I just had to get that in. If I can grab it, you know I'm going to give you a quick sly Rocky Balboa one-liner. You know me. Love my movies. And, uh, you know, when we're talking about, you know, the whole conspiracy theories, like, you know, a great movie, like I told one of my friends on here, if you're listening about, um, They Live. And it had uh, Roddy Rowdy Piper, one of the wrestlers from the WWF. Uh, at the time and honestly i didn't watch this I, I watched this recently like maybe within the last like uh five years and i gotta tell you this movie was what I mean, it was like you know you got this guy um that basically when he put on these sunglasses he got to see the world for you know what they've been telling you the illusion that is here and you know like you put in it's re really it's worth checking it out and it's like you know it's got the beautiful long you know 80s street brawl just really just dragged out and we're talking about you know what cheesy one line is like i only came here to kick ass and chew bubble gum i'm all out of gum you know what i mean it's, and there was that one guy you know i might as well drop the you know days and confused oh i came here for two reasons kick some ass and drink some beer looks like we're all out of beer I'm not out of beer. I got plenty. I'm not here to do that. You know me. I'm a lover. You know, I'm not. A, I'm a lover, not a fighter. You know, but you know, and I, of course, it's all what you attract, anyways. And I feel like when we're talking about, you know, people that go that uh, conspiracy route. It's fun. You know, I can I can talk Jesus Christ and aliens with you any day of the week. You know, what I mean, I, I like entertaining conversations. You know me. I like to laugh. I like to love. But if you're making this stuff like, you know, all of a sudden you're drawing stuff on boards, you're wearing a tinfoil hat, and you feel like the world's in it. I mean, this is where we got to evaluate, man. We got to understand the universe. I'm going to give you a Rex Kwan doll line, man, from uh, uh, Napoleon Dynamite, man. The, the universe has got your back, man. We're talking about the buddy system, man. The universe is your buddy. It's always got your back. So never forget that, man. So the universe is always on your side. So you ain't got to worry about, you know, uh, whatever theory you might want to think. If there's something, you know, if there's dinosaur people running this world, if there's, uh, you know, 5G and the scanners, and we're talking about... <laughs> chemtrails and barium and aluminum and you're talking you got to check a steady diet iodine and vitamin R. yeah you know i i'm holding this heart 
and I'm talking like Alex Jones, just because you know what that guy. I I love I love people. I love I love him too, man. He's entertaining. He's somebody that can make you laugh. But if you go down that rabbit hole and you really get beat down there, man, it could keep you there. Never forget, man. You got a choice to essentially you know lift yourself out at any given time, man. I'm here to throw you the line, and the line is love, man. You know what it you know what we're talking about. That center chakra. No joke, man. That is the powerhouse center of your line, man. That is the fire. That is the light. That is what's going to essentially save the way that you feel, man, because love is real. And when we're talking about going out there every single day, you know, whoever comes across your mind, whoever you run into, just, you know, uh, you know, like especially even on the phone and then these politicians and people you see on TV, instead of getting a good, bad, a neutral thought about that person, just intent on that soul, that person, that just to feel love in some kind of way, to feel beautiful today, and you go along your way and you just hack the matrix, you just made the world a better place because essentially you're clearing up all the energies and the way that you're perceiving the world anyways and that's kind of like uh you know um like the breakfast club you know like you know when they're writing the letter i don't know why i'm really just drilling you with movies today man we're talking about john bender man he sticks it up got the fist on the football field you know i mean that was like pretty much i kind of see man he just came home how you doing see doing beautiful you talk to the guy about the thing? Beautiful. I know, man. Don't worry. We'll take care of you. All right. But anyways, man, we're talking about John Venda. He just came. Dude, it's my cat, man. He just came in. It's like freezing out there. He's like an Arctic cat, man. He's a, he's a real trooper, man. That gives you inspiration and motivation to keep it going, man. He keeps it going. So anyways, we're talking about how uh you know he's when they're talking they're writing that letter to vince mcmahon i thought the guy looked like vince mcmahon but basically you know that um the the smart kid the nerd or whatever was saying that you know we don't want to write your letter because you see us the way that you want to see us you see us as the jack you see us as the basket case you see uh, you see me as the crit you see us as a criminal and essentially like all that judgment you know that that is what that's the story that you're painting no matter what man so you got the decision to go ahead and write yourself a better life a better line a better time a better experience and understand that happiness is always with you man like i say man we're all tethered to do it no matter how many you may be or how down you might be all you gotta understand is that chord's gonna smack you back with that happiness and let you know where you're at and that's what we're talking about today man you're always happiness happiness is always there and getting out of your own way and not overthinking these things the best way to do it is to laugh man and that's something that could always pull you out of a jam at any given time and you're talking about people that like you know like i said man this whole holistic community they tell you man you start your day and you not want be on your phones man no phones man the phones are the enemy man but follow me on my youtube channel yeah, the phones are the enemy all right yeah we get you all right but we're talking about if you can look at a funny clip a comedian uh you know a wolf an animal something that makes you feel beautiful some type of quote that just really resonates with you in some type of way that's doing something beautiful but like i say if it's taking you away from your moment and making you judge yourself and keeping you down that's where you got to evaluate. That's where you got to scrap it. And another thing, like people are talking about how the news is always negative. And you know me, like I don't, I'm not a guy that likes to watch the news, but sometimes you can catch some beautiful, like, uh, like morning news. Sometimes you see like, uh, you know, how to cook something or clean something or some type of fun event. It's not all about, you know, in Detroit, man, there's a lot of gunshots and, uh, you know, uh, carjackings and all that kind of you know negative stuff that's out there but they don't play that constantly at least on the you know the morning news i'm sure they do that at nighttime and like i said man that's you know the, the typical programming that they do to keep you down and keep you at your knees if you let it but we're talking about you know like there's some funny stuff that you can actually laugh about i mean you know i don't know nothing about politics man but the, i i seen this lady in a pantsuit and she was talking about uh <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna say this, but I just feel the inclination because it made me laugh. It made me laugh today. Like this lady goes, "This wasn't even Donald Trump that said horse face lesbians," and I'm like, "What?" I'm like, "What's this lady talking about?" I'm like, 
I'm like, man, I'm like, politics are getting lit. And I don't know, like, cause I'm, I'm not, like I said, man, I don't, you know, I don't follow that rabbit hole. And if that's something you do and you keep doing you, you keep being the best, you know, person that may, if it may, if it's making you feel something, if it's making you feel alive, then you go ahead and you spend your time there. But if it's keeping you down, there's no reason for that. And you know, and then, there, like I said, there's a million different, like I said, there's a two-way, three-way, four-way, and people just <laughs> appear on the street type of way, and you ain't got to get, you know, you ain't got to do that, you know, it's something that you don't, you can choose to participate in if you want to, and I know that might sound uh, ignorant to some, but like, like, Ralph Sipferetto, man, ignorance is bliss anyways, and like I said, man, it's all about smiling anyways, because I feel like no matter what, at the end of it all, that's what we are, we are love, we are light, we are here to spread love, we are here to be you know we are here to just you know be a reflection of the greatness that we have not the fear-based you know tactics of you know of what like you know what i mean you got you like i say man you got a million different people that can tell you about what you create in here you know and like uh, about the drop of creed i created i created my own prison yeah we're talking about i don't know why i had to do that but we're talking about People create their own prisons in their mind, and that's something that you don't need to do, man. And even uh, you know, like one of my favorite analogies that I gotta say before I go is there, you know, this is my quote, or at least it flowed to me, like I said, man, nothing is own, it's all what you're tuned to. So, you know, like I say, there's a sad man on a yacht and a happy man on a in a box. So that's what you gotta understand, man. It's all about your perspective. And that essentially is what overthinking is about, man. Start grinning, start smiling. The smile is divine. It's made inside the mind. If you're grinning, you're winning, man. So never forget that, man. If you gotta, you know, at least take a break from uh, whatever's bringing you down, man. Just check yourself throughout the day. Give yourself some evaluation. Be like, you know what? Is this helping me feel good today? And if, it, if it's not making you feel beautiful and feel 100% yourself, that's where you got to scrap it and get back to you, man. Get back to that source. Find something to make you laugh. Find something to just make you feel alive. And that's what we're talking about today. We're, not, we're talking about never to overthink. We're helping, we're helping to just feel the moment and understand that we're beautiful. We got purpose. I love you guys. I intend on you guys to feel some love today. Spread some love today. Feel the magic. Understand that miracles are normal. Miracles always happen appreciate every miracle that you got huge miracles are coming we're talking about growing into the huge massive giants that we are man we're talking about heads in the clouds we're talking about that huge piece of meat swinging at the knees dropping to the packs give it a kiss how you doing we're talking about you're not worrying about the gremlins at your feet or stopping on your of course not stopping on your special friend's house you know what we're talking about all right man i tend on you guys to, you know feel some love today and like I said, man, follow me on my social media. Hit me up. My cat C just got back. I wolfed my bear over there. We got plenty more beautiful things to come. 2020 is a super beautiful year. I feel beautiful things are here. And like I said, man, some travel. Who knows, man? We got plenty more to come. I love you guys. I'll be seeing you around. And make sure you guys are having some fun, man. Fun is the guy. Love you guys. Peace.